Hey folks, Ben Gilbert here from Engadget with Sony Computer Entertainment's Worldwide Studios head, Shuhei Yoshida. Oh, Hi, Shuhei. Actually, I'm Brohei Broshida. Oh, yes, yeah. indeed. From Bro Broforce. Indeed. <laughs> Adam's excellent joke. Uh, and uh, we're here at E3 2014 talking about video games and Sony and all sorts of good stuff. So let's, uh, let's just jump in uh, with something kind of easy. Uh, well, maybe not so easy. You, you represent a lot of games and you see a lot of games and you're you know, the man in charge of making sure good games are coming to PlayStation platforms. Yep. What is the game that you were most looking forward to that was shown last night at Sony's press conference? Ah, oh, so you are making me pick one game. I am, right? indeed. Um, no Man's Sky. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. with you on that. Going safer, right? Don't pick uh, our <laughs> game. But that's an amazing game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the fact that it's made by four people. Yeah, the Hello Games it's guys, right? amazing. Yeah. You know, one, so, so I, I saw some people tweeting, you know, in Japanese, the Japanese guy saying that, Look at what these guys are doing. You sure. don't need like uh, hundreds of people. No. Yeah, to create something amazing. That's so. a procedurally generated. Uh, it's kind of a exploration game. I don't even know how to explain it really. <laughs> yeah. It's a. It's a. It's huge. Yeah, and it's from the guys who made Joe Danger, right? And yes. that's I think especially interesting because they went from making this very small, very. Uh, representative of the indie community kind of game. It's smaller, it's, uh, it's focused on a specific mechanic, uh, and now they're making something that is enormous and sprawling, and that's really fascinating. Yeah. So I agree with yeah. you. I'm glad, <laughs> glad to hear it. I noticed that Vita wasn't a huge part of last night's presentation. Mm -hmm. um, there was, you know, games announced for it and stuff, but it wasn't like, this is the Vita section. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a big Vita fan, what can I expect, or what should I expect in 2014 from Sony? Yeah, so the one thing is uh, on the show floor, we have a lot of Vita games, you know, sure. new games, you know. And, uh, you know, you'll find something that we have even talked about. And uh, so... Well, so give me some examples yeah. here. <laughs> well, like, uh, Don't Stop. Sure. It's a great game. It is. It came out on PS4, it's coming to Vita. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and uh, Metorico. You know, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's coming to PS Vita. Yeah, so there are so many, like, a little gems that are perfect for the portable device. Sure. That, uh, you have 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, get in and get out. You know, it's, it's perfect games. You know, there are many games. But the yesterday was, you know, still, you know, PS4 is new. Sure. You know, lots sure. of people waiting for news for new games. And we have new initiative like, uh, you know, PS Now or PS TV. Sure. And, uh, I've been asking you about that for a while. Yes. Yeah, so there are a lot to cover for us. That certainly is. See that now is a really big companion device for PS4 as well. So we constructed the story, you know, around, you know, PS4. And uh, with, you know, more services, you know, we are connecting, you know, all devices more and more. Uh, so we even talked about, you know, pro pro you know providing PS3 games to Bravia TV. Sure, yeah, yeah. You know, via PS Now. Right, absolutely. So that, that was the main message. So uh, let's talk a little bit about PlayStation Now. We've, yeah. we've, uh, you've mentioned that a few times that so far, and uh, it seems like a really ambitious initiative uh, and very different. And it's part of these kind of burgeoning technologies in the world of gaming, right? There's stuff like virtual reality, but there's also streaming tech, which is the, the PlayStation Now initiative. Uh, and there was a, I think there was a pricing structure that was announced, and things range from $3 to $20. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. what does that mean? Like, what is the grand vision of PlayStation Now, I guess? Yeah, so the, I think the, you know, the streaming, you know, video sub, uh, game service like uh, PS Now has a, a few distinct advantages. You know, one is because it's uh, streaming, mm -hmm. you don't have to download and install and uh, sure. you know, all the things, you know, patches. So it's instantaneous, you know. It's not like this, but uh, right. in a couple of seconds. It's pretty quick, right? yeah. yeah. pretty quick. So it's very easy for you to browse in different games. Oh, you know, this is interesting, let's try. Sure. So that kind of uh, convenience factor is one thing. The other is, you know, you don't, you have limited space on your hard drive or, you know, the, the, the disk shelf. But uh, you can have, you know, we can have hundreds of games on our server for you to choose from, like, uh, you know, Netflix or video Sure, services. sure, yeah. So uh, the reason we are calling it still, you know, open beta mm -hmm. is because we anticipate to, you know, after starting the service in U.S. and uh, Canada, mm -hmm. we'll get a lot of feedback, you know, from, from consumers. I'm sure he will. So there, there seems to be a lot of promise in the concept of something like PlayStation Now with 
me having a digital library that exists in permanence, mm -hmm. right? Let's say I buy games digitally on my PlayStation 4, mm -hmm. maybe they unlock on PlayStation now, mm -hmm. and the system knows that I have bought those games, and then therefore any PlayStation device I want to play them on, they just work. Mm -hmm. Is that the kind of vision that you see for PlayStation now? Well, that, I hope. Sound, that sounds awesome. That's it? Yeah, but uh, I, I think uh, we have to, you know, walk before we run. Sure. You know, so we are starting with the library of PS3, Titles using PS3 based you know servers, sure. and uh, it, you know it takes us some money to set up servers. Oh, uh, bad, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, also, that's necessary to get you know our publishers on board. But uh, as an initial service, we are starting with you know individual rentals, and uh, we're gonna uh, to, you, know, you know experiment probably at some point some kind of you know packaging or subscriptions. Sure. That, uh, you know, for A kind of one. Netflix yeah, subscription yeah, service, yeah, right? Yeah, like that. Sure. Um, but on day one, we are starting, you know, with individual title, you know, rental with different versions, with different tier games. Sure. So that the pricing will vary from, you know, two ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine. What is nineteen ninety nine like a brand new game? Is that the kind uh, of concept? Newer game, larger games for okay. for longer period of time, and the two ninety nine maybe very short. Period sure, of time. sure. Maybe a PSN game or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, something okay. like that. Okay. Uh, the concept of showing. Morpheus games on stage, right? Uh, Morpheus is a really cool thing, but VR in general, <laughs> VR in general is something where you have to use it, right? Like yeah. it's something where yeah. you got to, you have to get yeah. somebody to put the headset on, then yeah. they get it. But yeah. seeing it on a screen, it just looks like a yeah. duplicated image on a screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so how do you show that at a press? I mean, you guys talked about it for a minute or two, but yeah. then you moved on pretty quick. Yeah, so we felt it's very important for us to talk about it and show that and uh, explain that there are new demos. Sure. Available and the kiosks, and uh, once you know people experience it, hopefully many of them become turns to be a believer like us. And yeah. Start Converted. You know, on behalf. So you know, getting as many people to try is the most important. Got a bunch of uh, questions from readers. Okay. Uh, so uh, you know, answer what you can. Okay. Uh, so the first one uh, is, uh, what interactions have Sony had with the Oculus folks? Mm -hmm. uh, and